This year was a watershed year for us at the Danforth Center in international crop improvement. Just this past July, we had the first commercial sales of pod borer resistant cowpeas to farmers in Nigeria. It represents the very first time that a wholly public sector developed uh, biotechnology food crop has been released to farmers in Africa. So the impact on smallholders in Nigeria and ultimately in the rest of West Africa is going to mean improved yields up to 80% more um, and also reduced pesticide use. I think all of the seed was sold within the first week. So it's a, a tremendous sort of indicator of how farmers are looking forward to new technology and are ready to adopt it. This year was very exciting for us because we were um, given approval for our genetically improved cassava to move into national performance trials in Kenya. We're one of the first public research organizations in the world to achieve this, and certainly the first for cassava. So this will be part of securing people's futures in Kenya, and now also we're working in Rwanda and looking for other places that we believe that our cassava can contribute to food and economic security. The Danforth Center ramped up a lot of activity in research that has direct relevance to climate change. Climate change mitigation, that is, what can we do to reduce greenhouse gas emissions on the farm, and adaptation. One of the main contributors to climate change is agriculture, specifically the use of chemical nitrogen fertilizer. SYNC stands for Subterranean Influences on Nitrogen and Carbon. This is a new center of excellence that we've established at the Danforth Center to decrease or eliminate the need for nitrogen fertilizer. Being at the Danforth Center and working with my colleagues, we have this opportunity to actually move the needle on this important issue. It's been estimated that about half of the world's topsoil has been lost in the last 150 years. New Roots for Restoration Biology Integration Institute is a collaboration of nine different institutions. It's based here at the Danforth Plant Science Center, and we have a single goal. We're trying to learn how plants might change soil and to use that information to advance sustainable agriculture as well as the restoration of wildlands. This past year has been really exciting in the innovation community. We've not only seen a lot of new construction to house companies, but we've seen Benson Hill, now a public company. The Benson Hill story is so exciting because a company that was co-founded by a Danforth Center scientist went public in an over $1 billion valuation. That's proof of concept right there. A lot of people might be surprised at just how much we have going on at the Danforth Center and with our partners in education, training, and workforce development in the region. We initiated a partnership with the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center and the University of Illinois in East St. Louis to connect with students in after school and summer programs to teach them about where their food comes from. We're not just creating a program at the Jackie Joyner Kersey Food Agriculture and Nutrition Center, but we're creating a pathway from cradle to career. I believe in the mission of the Danforth Center. What we are doing to feed the world globally is creating a stronger economy locally. For me, it's a call to action. And it's a call to mobilize science, to move science from the lab to the land, because that's how we impact people's lives. The Danforth Center is truly a unique institution. Nowhere else would you find a combination of cutting edge research and a drive towards biotechnology and industry combined in such a way as to actually make an impact in agriculture and crop production and technology that will improve human lives. We're thrilled that we have so many partners at the Danforth Center. Our partner organizations, our friends, our volunteers, our supporters, thank you so much for making 2021 a great year for us. Happy holidays, 
and we hope you join us in 2022.